Hey, it's Heather, and today I'm cooking outside. I am grilling one of my favorite sandwiches, a steak and arugula sandwich. I do this inside a lot, but I'm here outside and I'm doing it on one of my favorite things of summer, grilled bread, so easy to do. But first, before we get to the bread, we're gonna talk about the steak. Now, for this, I often use skirt steak, which is a very marbled, to put it mildly, steak, very flavorful, but today I'm going with a flank. I have it here marinating in my bag. Uh, soy, a little lime, salt and pepper. I love lime and soy. And I have my uh, coals here nice and hot. I keep it in a bag, that way my tray stays totally clean, gotta cook clean. You don't wanna cross contaminate, especially when you're grilling. And I'm going to just, you know, put this sucker right on the grill. Okay, good. Now my plan is to sear it on each side about one to two minutes, and then I'm gonna cover it, gonna cook it all together, maybe 10 minutes. Flank steak, you know, they have a thick part and a thin part, which is kind of nice, so you have rare, as well as maybe a little bit more well done. I also have some zucchini going here, and this tray here, this pan here, heating up on the stove, because we're gonna grill off uh, some onions. And what I'm going to do is add a little olive oil. I already have a little in the pan and I'm going to caramelize my red onions. Uh, I like red, a little sweeter, and they're pretty. Who hear that? Very nice. Okay, and we're gonna just cook these as though we're on the stove. You gotta watch it closely though. Cast iron cooks really well, and sometimes it's surprisingly fast. Okay, I'm ready to take the steak off. It has been on long enough. Look at that, looking good. Uh, so sometimes uh, people talk about how the steak feels in terms of doneness. Lots of different gradations. Here's what I know. Mushy, rare, firm, overdone. So you want something ooh, that feels good, a little spring back, but not too mushy and certainly not too tough. Oh, ho, ho. Now, I'm going to put it here and I am going to rest my meat before I slice it. If there's one thing you take away, Take away resting your steaks before you slice them. Now I'm going to grill bread. Very simple. Olive oil on both sides. And then uh, we're going to toss it on the grill. And that's it. Got to watch it though. It'll go fast sometimes. You know what's good? Grill bread. Little goat cheese and a little grilled bell pepper. I don't have that here, but boy oh boy, that's quite an appetizer. Okay, just gonna let that go. Okay, I'm ready to eat. I have my grilled zucchini, nice little zucchini cut in half, grilled to perfection, could not be a better preparation. And of course, my steak sandwich. I'm gonna start with my bread. I often do all these uh, ahead of time and then bring it to the plate in a table in a platter, but you know, it's fun to do it this way. You don't have to use mustard, I like the little extra tang. I'm gonna go for my onions, my onions next. If these, when you're cooking them, are going a little fast, just add a little water to the pan and that'll help them to cook really evenly. See how nice they get? And uh, some steak, uh, cut across the grain. Flank steaks, most steaks have uh, lines, that's a grain, and you cut across them to sort of maximize your tenderness. Yum, and uh, top it off with I like arugula because it has a nice bitter bite. You could use watercress or just any old regular lettuce that you like. Uh, and there's my lovely steak sandwich. I am serving with it today a Bordeaux from the Fransac region that is um, the right bank, which means it has more Merlot. When you hear people talk about the left bank, it's more Cabernet Sauvignon. 2003, got a little bottle age, nice and lush, really sophisticated. Lots going on with the sandwich, lots going on with the glass, but it won't compete, I promise. I'll show you how good it is. Mm. That works. For wines, for recipes, for much, much more, please hit my website, sogood.tv.